Hi everybody and welcome to this lesson in which we're going to look at how we can configure CI CD pipeline as a code with YAML. So many teams prefer to define their build and release pipelines using YAML, which is yet another markup language. This allows them to access the same pipeline features as those using the visual designer, but with a markup file that can be managed like any other source file. And YAML build definitions can be added to a project by simply adding their source file to the root of the repository. And DevOps also provides default templates for popular project types, as well as YAML designer to simplify the process of defining build and release tasks. So in order to, first of all, go through this lab, you have to make sure that we have install the Azure demo generator into our account because we will, we will be using some of the code through the Azure demo generator. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to create a resource, a web app and a SQL Server resource in our Azure portal. So I'm going to create a resource and I'm going to search for a web app. So web app with a MySQL, it will basically have a application with a database connected to it. We can give the app a name. Just keep this in mind if you are using this to test it out, just make sure that after the lab is complete, you go ahead and delete these resources because after a month you will start getting charged, especially if you have used up the 200 free dollars that they give, um, you will start getting charged. So you have, please make sure that after the lab is complete, you go ahead and unprovision and delete these resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. So here I can view the status of this deployment. Currently it's in progress. If I click on deployment and progress, it will take me specifically to that screen where I can view the specific operational details in terms of what's going on. So while that's going and after that's complete, we're gonna go ahead and navigate back into our Azure DevOps portal and go into the pipeline section. And since we've already installed the demo generator, there is a recently run pipeline called Parts Unlimited. We're going to select this pipeline, make sure it's paused. Go back into our pipeline. We're just making sure that this pipeline is paused. Next, we're going to go back and go ahead and create a new pipeline. We want to use the code from our Azure repo since the code was forked on here. Repository is parts unlimited. We want a ASP.NET. Now here is the YAML file. Now it will be saved as a new file called azure-pipelines.yml in the root of the repository and contains everything needed to build and test a typical ASP.NET solution. Now we can also customize the build as needed. So in this case, what we're going to do is update the pool to specify the build should use Visual Studio 2017 build VM. After that, we're going to go ahead and click on save and run. We want to commit directly to the master branch. So we can click on the job here. It gives us step-by-step -step detail logs of what's going on. So once the job is complete, we're going to go ahead and go back into our tasks view, click on tests, and the test should now have succeeded as expected. So now the build and test processes, as you've seen, are successful. We can add the delivery to the YAML definition. So from the drop down arrow, we can go ahead and click on edit pipeline. So after the trigger, what we're going to do is simply add in this code. So here, all we're doing is defining the build stage in the YAML pipeline. Now we can define whatever stages we need to better organize and track the pipeline progress. Next, we're gonna highlight the remaining YAML file and we need to indent it for spaces or two tabs. Now this will simply take the existing build definition and relocate it as a child of the jobs node. So here what we're doing at the bottom of the file, we are configuring and defining the second stage. So after that's done, 
what we're going to do is leave the cursor at the end of the definition. And now this will be the location where the new tasks are added. And what we're going to do is go ahead and select on the Azure App Service Deploy on the right hand side. We want to select the subscription that we have. Click on Authorize. Now, once that's authorized in this app service name, we want to select the app service that we created before. And we want to make sure we update the package folder to be the system.artifacts directory. And we're going to click on Add. And what this will do, it will add this after the steps. Now, with the added task still selected in the editor, what we need to do is indent it four spaces again so to make it the child of the steps task. Now, it's important to note that these two stages will be run independently. So as a result, the build output from the first stage will not be available to the second stage without special consideration. So in order to do this, what, we'll go, what we're going to do is use one task to publish the build output at the end of the build stage and another to download it in the beginning of the deploy stage. So what we're going to do is make a space between right before the deploy stage. And in the tasks, what we're going to do is search for publish build. And we want to publish the build artifacts. We're going to go ahead and click on add. And we also want to indent this for spaces. And right under the deploy in the steps, we want to download the build artifacts. And lastly, we're going to add a property to the download task specifying the artifact name of drop. We are finally ready to save this YAML file. Now let's go ahead and return to our pipelines view. I'm going to go ahead and click on the runs. And here we can see the new run that we just did. So currently it is running. If we were to go ahead and click on this. Right now it's at the build stage. And after that, it will be in the deploy stage. So here, if we click on the build, again, it will give us step-by-step -step instructions on what it's doing. Here that we see right before the deploy, it currently permissions are needed. So I'm going to go ahead and do is click on permit. So here now the build is succeeded. It's now into the deploy stage. There we go. It is finishing deploying and we have successfully deployed our CI CD pipeline in Azure DevOps. So let's go ahead and review the deployed site. Now we're going to go ahead and navigate back into our Azure portal. We're going to go into our app service that we created first. We're going to go ahead and go into configuration and we want to update the default connection. After we update the default connection string, we're going to quickly save. After it's successfully updated, we go ahead and go back into our overview. And if we click on browse, it will take us to our newly deployed web app.